In this video, I'm gonna add access control to certain areas of the website, so the admin area, for example. And to do that, I'm gonna create a new JS file in config here and call it auth. And here I'm gonna say exports and is user. And that's gonna be equal to a function with rec, res, and next. And in here I'm gonna say if is if rec is authenticated, I'm gonna say next. So to continue on, else I'm gonna have a flash message that says success, actually danger. And please log in. And it's gonna redirect to slash user slash login. And I'm not actually going to be using this is user. I just wanted to show you how it would be done and to have two different types. So I'm going to create a new one and this one is going to be is admin and I am going to use this one. So if rack is authenticated and res locals user admin is one. Next else please log in as admin. Okay, so uh, for example, you could use this if user, if you had a user profile page where he can edit stuff and so on, his profile and so on. I'm not going to have that since it's the same thing as editing products or pages or whatever. But uh, if you wanted to allow users to access some page, let's say you want only logged in users to be able to access all products. I could do that by going to product.js and in here I can save our auth and require one folder up config and auth and then say here var is user equal to auth is user like so. So now I can add this to the routes that I want to limit access to. So let's say get all products if I add is user here let the server refresh and if I now try to seal products I can't I have to log in and if I log in and go to all products now I can so that's how it would work and I'm just gonna make a copy of this for your convenience and comment this one out and get rid of is user here since I don't want to limit access to all products so now it works fine and I also have a bug in here you, as you can see in the lower left now with slash product slash services or whatever the slug for the pages and that's just because I don't have a slash here before the slug so if I refresh now now it's normal okay and I am going to use this for the admin area. So I'm going to copy this and in admin categories, paste that. But this is going to be is admin and is admin here. So I'm going to copy this and add access to all the get requests. So this one get add category as well and get edit category and this post category is fine get delete category okay and that's it so let me just copy this and go to admin pages okay and copy is admin again so get pages index Lock that down, get that page as well. Uh, this post edit page says page edit, it should say pa page edited. Actually, this says page edit, but uh, okay, reorder pages, get edit page. I noticed that uh, post edit page here has page edit, so page edited and is admin for delete page and that's it 
right so copy this again and go to admin products paste that and get this admin so log this down and get add product as well and get edit product and get delete image and get delete product and that should be it so save that and it should be all good so if I now refresh and if I try to go to admin pages let's say and I can't and it says please log in as admin not just please log in so if I go if I log in as admin and I go to the admin area I can so I can see all this and it's all good and that's basically it for this video and the course in the next video I'm just gonna add the pages a bit with some h1s and some text in here just so it looks a bit better so it's not mandatory to watch that video you can if you want but this is basically it for the project functionality I believe